Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an exponential equation. We have 10 to the power x squared equals 2 times 100 to the power x. And we're going to be solving for x values. Now, uh, this problem is not easy to guess and check for, because if you look at the x values, uh, it's not going to be nice values. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, we have a 10 and a 100. So we can go ahead and write the 100 as 10 to the second power. And then from here, if you raise both sides to the power x, then you will get 10 to the power 2 to the power x, which is the same as 10 to the power 2x, because we're supposed to multiply the exponents. Okay? So let's go ahead and replace 100 to the power x with that, and then we're going to rearrange our equation. So 10 to the power x squared equals 2 times 10 to the power 2x. Now at this point, it makes sense if you put the tens together, because uh, we're basically dealing with powers with the same base. So let's go ahead and divide both sides by 10 to the power 2x. So that's going to give us 10 to the power x squared divided by 10 to the power 2x equals 2, because 10 to the power 2x cancels out. What do you do when you divide two powers with the same base? The answer? you subtract the exponents. So the rule goes like this, a to the power m divided by a to the power n equals a to the power m minus n. As long as a does not equal zero, this works. So now, from here we're going to get 10 to the power x squared minus 2x equals 2. This is the critical part. What do we do to bring down the exponent? If you said log both sides, you write. And since we have 10 in the base, it makes sense if we just use base 10 log, which is L-O-G. So we're going to log both sides with base 10. And since the base is 10, this exponent is going to be moved to the front, and log 10 is going to be 1 in base 10. So this is going to give us x squared minus 2x equals log 2. Okay, so log is base 10. One more time. So now, this equation should be familiar to you. If you said completing the square, you got it. So let's go ahead and add 1 to both sides. You could also use the quadratic formula, you know, which is fine. It's pretty much the same thing. So I'm adding 1 to both sides, and on the right-hand side, I can replace 1 with log 10. And that way, uh, I could kind of combine these two things. So what is the rule if you have log AB... You can write it as log A plus log B, which means if you have log A plus log B, you can write it as log AB. So in other words, you can condense or expand. In this case, we're going to condense this into log 2 times 10, which is 20. So that's what we get on the right-hand side. It doesn't really matter if you write it like this or log 2 plus 1, pretty much the same thing. Some people consider 1 plus log 2 simpler because 2 is prime, and, you know, it's been simplified, so on and so forth. doesn't matter much. So now we got a perfect square, so the next step should be writing it as the square of a binomial. So we're going to write it as x minus 1 squared equals log 20. Now we got to be careful. Log is only defined for positive numbers, but we're not logging a variable, so we're good. We are actually setting the log of something equal to a variable. So any value is uh, fine. And since we didn't do anything that would introduce extraneous rules like squaring both sides or something, we only did log both sides. So all the rules should work. Okay, why am I doing this? Because I need to check whenever I get an equation and solve it. I need to make sure that all the solutions work. And we're also going to verify it, obviously. I'll show you a graph at the end. So now at this point, what do we do? Just square root both sides using the absolute value. This is going to give us two different values. Either x minus 1 is equal to square root of log 20. We're going to go with the positive square root. Or we're going to go with the negative square root. So x minus 1 is going to be negative square root of log 20. Okay, great. Now, what is the value of log 20? Um, I'll show you in a little bit. You'll get an idea. And then we're going to look at the graph, and the graph is kind of doesn't show you everything because there's a reason for that, which I'll mention later. 
So anyways, uh, at this point, we can go ahead and add one to both sides. And add one. And we get two solutions. Both of these solutions should be valid. And if you want to check it out, go ahead and check it out. I don't think uh, it's necessary. But if you want, you can go ahead and plug them in. So those are the x values. We got two solutions. Now let's go ahead and check the numerical values for these and get a better idea. Okay? So these are the numerical values. Notice that the positive one or the larger one is going to give us 1 plus square root of log 20, which is about 2.14. And the second one is negative negative 0.14. So you're going to see both of these x values on the graph. But when it comes to finding the y values, I'll also show you how that works out. So let's go back to the original problem and we're going to take a look at the graph. X values we found, those are the solutions to our equation. The equation was 10 to the power x squared equals 2 times 100 to the power x. So apparently this turned into a quadratic equation because of x squared. Let's go ahead and take a look at the graph and we'll just finish up with that. All right, so here's the graph of these two functions. y equals 10 to the power x squared and y equals 2 times 100 to the power x. Both of these are exponential functions. But the top one, the green one, is actually kind of symmetrical uh, with respect to the y-axis because x can be replaced with negative x. And that's going to give us the same function or the same y values. That's why we have that symmetry. You can basically reflect it and you'll get the same shape. Uh, but the second one, the pink one, is just like an exponential function that is always increasing because the base is greater than 1. And it has a coefficient in front of it which kind of changes or stretches it a little bit. But uh, what is uh, significant here is that you see only one of the intersection points. And the reason why you don't see the second intersection point here is because the y value is way too large and it just doesn't fit the screen. Unless you make this graph kind of like a, almost like a vertical line looking graph. That's why I wanted to show you what the y value is going to look like for the second. Remember, we were talking about two uh, x values when we solved the equation. And the first one, the big one, the 1 plus square root of log 20, is going to give you this y value here, which is going to be way too large. Think about it. It's about 38,000. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.